Hey friends, you know I'm big on tire deflation when driving on the soft sand. Many people don't do this because airing back up is time consuming and high performance air compressors can be expensive. But what if there was a cheaper alternative that challenges the expensive competition? Tozala sent me their 12 volt air compressor. This dual cylinder portable monster boasts an impressive 11.65 CFM. Guys, that's almost double the performance of my expensive onboard ARB dual air compressor. So I hope you stick around to the end of the video and find out how they compare. Tozala sent me the air compressor at no cost for review and I will have a link in the video description. The portable 12 volt air compressor has 60 millimeter dual cylinders, a heavy duty build and these vibration absorbing rubber mounts. The double filtered air intake helps keep dust and debris out. So that's perfect for your off-roading applications at the beach or a dusty trail. Deep South Texas has some of the hottest temperatures, so the air compressor's overheat protection will come in handy. The package includes an 8-foot power cord with battery clamps, a 25-foot air hose, a quick connector, a carry bag, and some nozzles to inflate whatever you need. We're going to test out the Tozalaz, and in order to do that the proper way, lower the tire pressure. These right here are my stons. Just throw it in there like that. And let's let it work. Okay guys, so the stons went ahead and uh, they did their job. Let's put that over here. And uh, I'm gonna test out to see what the pressure is right now. We're looking, let's give it a few more tries. Looks like 16, 15. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and connect my chuck right here. Go ahead and uh, run this over here to see this. Just connect it in here. And as you can see this, it has this eight foot cord right here with these two battery cables. We're gonna come around this way over here and we're gonna connect it, simply connect it to our battery. Now, as you can see, we have this uh, ARB onboard dual cylinder uh, air compressor already on board. This is what I use. I have the cable right here, I mean the hose, and I have the chuck right here. Um, and uh, this is how I normally reinflate my tires. However, just for uh, testing purposes, we're going to try it this way with the Tozalaz. Remember, it's boasting a crazy amount of CFM compared to the ARB much more expensive a lot more cheaper a lot cheaper so we're looking at about a six hundred dollars plus all this other stuff that comes along with it that you have to and the expense and the time that you put in to install it compared to this portable uh, compressor let's see how it acts let me see what it's reading yeah it's accurate it's got the 15 PSI, which is a good thing. When, it's, when, the, when the compressor is off, you know, it's going to give you an accurate reading. I already tested it with the other pressure gauge, so we're looking good right there. Let's see how long it takes for the tire to inflate to its proper operating uh, pressure, which is supposed to be 40 PSI. So remember, we're going to go from 15 all the way to 40. Let's see what happens, all right? I should have turned on the truck before I used, that's a lot of power. That thing draws a lot of power. So let me turn on my truck. And uh, it looks like it wants to travel here. It is, it's what you expect and in, 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 as you know, it's loud, but it's kind of like what you expect, okay? You have to turn off the machine in order to discover and find out, see if it's at 40 or not. All right. Yeah, that took us to 40 right there. So not bad, man. This is fast, really fast. That was, yeah, that's blazing fast. And deflate the tire with the same one. 
all right gonna go ahead and deflate the tire and now we're gonna try to pump it back up but what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the ARB and see how long the ARB takes so while that happens I'm gonna get the hose for the ARB ready and now I turn it on right here that's what I really like about my setup everything is super simple so easy to use We've got air boom it's on doesn't make a lot of noise does it it's deflated now let's go ahead and remove the ston deflator and uh, let's connect the ARB as you can see it's got around 15 psi according to the gauge here and we're gonna go and boom I'm gonna check okay and see how we're doing here and four five 30 that's 30 psi so let's do it again so we're gonna test it again at 220 and see what it does at 220 that's 34 let's keep going let's check it at 2 minutes and 45 see where we're at that's 37 let's keep going we're gonna go to 315 and see where we're at let's see if it reaches 40 at 315 boom there we go 40 all right so about you know a little over three minutes 315 on the ARB I filled up the rest of the tires with the Toza Laz. it didn't miss a beat and continued to provide consistent results the much more expensive ARB twin was outperformed in price and performance as of this video a new ARB will run you at least $600 but accessories and installation will knock it closer to 900 bucks. Meanwhile, the Tozalaz is a mere $222 and comes with everything you need. The only differences are convenience and perhaps long-term quality. I just got the Tozalaz, so I don't know much about long-term use. Meanwhile, I've been using the ARB in harsh conditions for almost a year with no issues. All in all, there's no denying the value in the Tozalaz. It's simply a great purchase. If you are interested, use the link down in the video description. Get up, get out, do something.